My name is Ronald Hutton. All my life I've had a passion for museums, and in this new series I'm going to take you to a few of my own favourite little hidden gems. So whether it's ancient Egypt, Victorian London, or even human remains that pique your interest, I hope that this cornucopia of curiosities will tickle your fancy as much as it has done mine. This time we're at the Jeffrey Museum, set in one of the largest surviving almshouses of old London. Down this back street, one gem survives, Dennis Seaver's house. But first, we're at the Grant Museum of Zoology, which has 68,000 specimens. And as you can see, I'm making some friends already. So Ronald, welcome to the eighth wonder of the world. This is Brunel's engine house. This first case here shows you lots and lots and lots of specimens in here. This is a nice jar of bats. This is what people come for, Sigmund Freud's couch, which came with him from Vienna to oh, this wow. house. <laughs> so this is the original Freudian couch. Elephant skulls are not uncommon in Victorian museums, but what's the Grant Museum touch is to have an elephant's heart as well. This is a doll in a cabbage. I can see as a child that would be terribly exciting. Yes. I think adults don't like things to part human and part machine. And the club of love. This is the penis bone of a walrus. One other item I'd really like to show you is the skeleton of Caroline Crachami, who during her life was known as the Sicilian Fairy. Look, look, look at that. That, that, that's from the Quran, that's uh, a verse describing the creation. I, I can't read much Arabic, but that's a very famous text. With just one more shuffle, I have only two cards left to get. And get one more ace, and a second one. All four aces. And finally, a pickled cat. It's bisected, so from this side it looks like uh, a pussy in oil. And from this side, you see its interior, also the fact that it was pregnant. 